Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to solve day 31 problem of this month on lead code. Before starting, if you guys haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, then please go ahead and subscribe it. Now, without any delay, let's get started with today's problem. So today I am going to solve problem number 244, that is count sub arrays with fixed bounds. Okay. So this is a hard level problem, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you guys will be able to solve this problem quite easily. Okay, so now let's read the problem statement first. You are given an integer array nums and two integers min k and max k. A fixed bound sub array of nums is a sub array that satisfies the following conditions the minimum value in the sub array is equal to min k and the maximum value in the sub array that we are going to form must be equal to max k and we have to return the number of fixed bound sub arrays a sub array is a contiguous part of an array okay so now let's understand this problem with an example here so this is a nums array given to us okay and this is a min k value given to us and this is a max k value given to us okay so we have to form sub arrays in such a way that in our sub array there is a min k value and there must be one max k value okay so let's uh, analyze this array here one three okay so let's consider uh, if i take just this one in my sub array so this is a fixed bound sub array no this is not fixed uh, bound sub array because in this sub array my min k is there my min k is there but my max k is not there so this is not a fixed bound sub array that we need okay now when i consider uh, this as my sub array so this is a fixed bound sub array no this is not a fixed bound sub array because in this sub array my min k is there right min k is there but max k is not there okay so i have to ignore this okay now let's proceed further if i treat this as my sub array so is this a fixed bound sub array yes is this is a fixed bound sub array why this is a fixed bound sub array because in this sub array my min k is there that is nothing but one and my max k is also there that is nothing but five okay so see so we have selected this one here okay so this is clear now after that if i include uh, this one three 5 and 2 here so is this a fixed bound sub array yes this is also a fixed bound sub array and why because in this sub array we have min k and we have max k as well right so this is also our fixed bound sub array okay so now let's consider this one now 1 3 5 2 7 is this my fixed bound sub array <coughs> no because in this uh, my sub array my minimum element is one and this minimum element is equal to my min k okay so we are good here and what is my maximum element in my sub array so maximum element in sub my sub array is seven right now but my max k is given as five okay so that is why this is not a fixed bound sub array okay so we don't need to include this right in our result okay and same way if you proceed further 1 3 5 1 3 5 2 7 5 is this a good sub array is this my fixed bound sub array no because max element is 7 here right now right so we need to ignore this as well so as of now we have found that these two are my fixed bound sub arrays okay then later on you guys will start from uh, this position okay is 3 my good sub array no 35 no 352 no 35275 no 352275 no because we have removed our min k element now right now okay when we are going to start from here uh, making our sub arrays so in these sub arrays there is no min k okay minimum element is not going to be uh, our uh, equal to our min k okay so that is why we, we don't need to consider all these okay later on because we have already skipped our minimum elements okay so i hope that you guys are clear uh, with this problem statement okay so now i am going to show you the approach that uh, we are going to use to solve this problem okay so let me uh, remove everything here so let's understand this with an example here so just tell me one thing uh, 
this is my min k okay this is my min k and this is my max k okay so if this is one sub array in which elements are like this one two five and seven and there is one more sub array in which elements are like this uh two three five and eight and one is also there okay and here uh five and seven okay okay and here one more element let's consider this element zero okay so now tell me uh this is a fixed bound sub array no why because uh in this sub array uh, we are seeing the elements which are minimum than this min k yes and the elements okay let's not consider that's consider that seven is not here but still this is no right now right this is no because there is one element which is less than min k okay and in this uh, sub array again my answer is going to be no because there is one element which is out of bound here okay this is a my don element okay don element because we don't need this element but still it's there okay and due to this we are not able to include this sub array in my result okay so what we are looking uh, here we are looking for the elements which are from one inclusive one elements five okay for this particular example okay so if this is my case then in that case i have to include that in my result otherwise i don't have to include that right so i hope that you guys are clear with this okay so now let's uh, see how I'm going to solve this problem. Okay, so here before starting uh, this result variable is going to store the result and This min p is equal to minus 1 right now min p is at minus 1 and this min p is going to give me the position of an element in my sub array where I have found this min k value and This max p is going to give me the position of an element in my sub array where I am going to find the max k value and this don index right now it is at minus one but this is going to give me the position of an element where i have found element which is out of one right now okay so this is my don element in this particular example because i don't need that because if this comes in my sub array definitely i'm not going to include that because this leads to uh, out of bound right so i hope that you guys are clear so now i'm going to start from at this position my i is at this particular position so here first first of all what i'm going to check my i is at this particular position okay so first of all i am going to check if this number is less than min k tell me if this number is less than min k no right or if this number is greater than max k no this number is not greater than max k okay so let's move forward okay if this is greater than uh, max k or less than min k then definitely i have to update my no down index right now in this case i don't need to update okay after that i am going to check if this num uh, nums of i element is equal to min k min k is one yes this is equal to min k so i have to update my mean position and now my mean position will become zero okay so let me write index here for better understanding this is zero index this is one index this is two index three and four and five okay so now my mean p is updated to zero right and now I'm going to check if this element right now my i is at this position if this is equal to my max k no my max k is no it is not equal to my, my max k okay so good we are good okay so we don't need to update my max position right now so then after that I am going to update this count and in this count I am going to find the math dot mean of minimum position minimum position is zero and max position right now is minus one okay so what is minimum between zero and minus one minus one is minimum and when I'm going to subtract this minus one minus minus one. Okay, so this is going to be minus one and minus of minus one right now, right? Minus one plus one is equal to zero. Okay, so this count is equal to zero right now and count is zero. So here in the result I am checking initially my result is zero plus count is zero right now. Okay, so if count is not greater than zero, so I have to just add zero here, right? So my result is going to be zero and this is right okay because there is no sub array uh, this there is no such sub array uh, this is not a sub array this is not a fixed bound sub array if i just consider one element okay okay because uh, this is uh, 
the I have found my min k, but where is my max k? Okay, so that is why I don't need to do anything. Now after that, my i is going to reach at this particular position. Okay, my i is at this position. Okay, so when my i is at this position, I'm going to check. Well, first of all, if this three is if this three is less than my min k, no. If this three is greater than my max k, no. Okay, so I don't. Uh, this is not my don index. Okay, so this is not. Uh, this is not out of bound element. Okay, so after that, what I'm going to check? If this element is equal to my min k, no. This element is not equal to my min k. Okay, I don't need to update my min p. If this element is equal to my mag, uh, max k, no. This is not equal to my max k. So I don't need to uh, update my max p right now. Okay. So now uh, after that, I'm going to check the count. So. Uh, I, there is no change right now, right? Min p is zero only, max p is minus one only till here. Right now, we did not update anything. So again, we are going to get count as zero and result is equal to zero. And this is true. There is no subarray ending at this particular index, which we can say that this is a fixed bound subarray because we have found both min k and max k here in, in it. But we didn't find any, right? So what I'm going to do after this, I'm going to move my i to the next position. Okay. So now my i reaches at this particular position. So when my i reaches at this particular position, I am going to check first of all if this element, if this element five is less than my min k, no. And if this element is greater than my max k, no. Is the it is equal to my max k? It is not greater than equal to max. K. It is not greater than max k. So yeah, we are good. Okay, we don't. This is not my down index. Okay, so I don't need to do anything. Now. I have to uh, check for this count. Okay, but before that, the uh, after that we are checking if this element five is equal to min k. Okay, so this is not equal to min k. We are good. If this max k, if this element five is equal to max k, yes, this is equal to my max k. So I have to update this position right now, right? So I have found an element which is equal to max k, and this is at index two. Okay, so I have to update my max p as two. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Now, after that. I uh, we have to after that in the count we have to check I have to check mat dot min of min p is zero and max p o is equal to two so I have to consider minimum right so zero minus down index zero minus minus of down index is right now minus one so one okay zero minus minus one is equal to one and my count is greater than one okay so I have to consider my count is greater than zero. Okay, so I have to consider count. So result is equal to zero plus one. So result is going to be one right now, right? Result is equal to one. So I hope that this is clear. Okay, because I have found one subarray, one fixed bound subarray ending at this particular index, in which I have found both my min k and max k, and there is no element inside this subarray which is greater than which is out of bound. Okay which is less than my min k or which is greater than my max k so i hope that this is clear okay so in my result i have did one right now so i hope that this is clear to you guys okay okay so now once this is done after that my i is going to reach at this particular position okay and when my i is at this particular position again i am going to check if this 2 is less than min k no if this 2 is greater than max k no okay after that i am going to check if this 2 is equal to my min k uh, no, so I don't need to update my min p index if this 2 is equal to max k. No, so I don't need to update my max p. Okay, then after that uh, I have I reach at this particular position and again min p or max p which is minimum 0 and minus my down index is minus 1 right now. Okay, but since there is no update. So again 1 previously my result was 1. Okay, so now this time I am going to do what I am going to do 1 plus one more count okay count is greater than zero yes so i have to update this count so one plus one is equal to two so my new count becomes two okay so i hope uh, yes this is right okay let me mark it so this is right because there are two sub arrays what are the two sub arrays the one is this one three five two and one is this sub array one three five okay so we have found two sub arrays right now okay so my result is two right now okay so now i hope that this is clear as well Okay, so now after that my i is going to reach at this particular position. Now see carefully. Now my i reaches at this particular position and now first of all I am going to check if this 7 is less than my min k. 
no we are good if this max k if this element 7 is greater than max k yes so now since this is greater than my max k so this is a don element we don't need the, this element and it comes right it comes so what i'm going to do i have to update the index of this element so what is the my don index element uh, from minus 1 it is going to update to 4 okay so i have updated it to 4 okay so now uh, let's visualize it okay if i consider this as a sub array so what you guys are going to say this is not my fixed bound sub array okay because seven is the max element this is what you guys are going to say okay so now check it with the other formula here so what is a math dot mean of min p and max p so minimum is zero and don't index is four so zero minus four is nothing but minus four right now right and my result was two previously okay now here i have added a two plus my count is greater than zero no count is minus four so i have to add zero only there's nothing i'm going to add right so it still remains two only okay and this is right because we have only two sub arrays which one is this which is ending at index two and one is this which is end, ending at index three and this is not my sub array and we are right right so we don't need to consider this element okay so i hope that this is clear to you guys okay so now let me erase this one as well okay so now after that my eye is going to reach at this particular position and when my eye reaches at this particular position it is again going to check if this element is equal to my uh, min p uh, is is less than min me for first first is going, going to check if it is less than my min k uh, no we are good if it this element is greater than my max k no we are good so after that i'm going to check if this is equal to min k uh, no, so I don't need to update my min p index if this is element is equal to my max k. Yes, this is equal to my max k So I have to update the index. So previously I have found this max p at 2 index But now again, I have found this at particular index number 5. Okay, so I have to update it Because this is what my code is going to do, right? So now my max p is updated to 5 and Yeah, after that I have to up again apply this operation mat dot min of min p and max p. So what is minimum? minimum is 0 only and don't index again it is negative only minus 4 okay and if it is minus 4 then uh, same like last uh, last way okay in the last i have explained so again i don't have to add anything 2 plus 0 is equal to 2 only and this is going to be my output okay in the end after that this loop is going to end okay uh, and what is my end result end result is 2 only and this is what i'm going to return so see the output here okay so I hope that you guys are clear uh, with this code, with this uh, approach that uh, I have shown you. Now uh, I'm going to write the code for this particular problem. Okay, so let's write the code. So first of all, uh, I'm going to store my result in one variable. So take it as long, okay, because of size issues, and we have to return long only. Okay, long long result is equal to zero and then uh, i have to store the indexes right so int min p is equal to uh, is equal to minus one um, max p is equal to minus one and my uh, don index don right don index is equal to minus one okay so this is clear okay i'm going to write the same thing which i have explained after that, I am going to run one loop for int i is equal to 0, i is less than nums dot length and i plus plus. And inside this, I have to check if my element is out of bound or no. Okay. Then after, then if it's, it's out of bound, then I have to update my don index. That's what uh, I am going to do, right? And that's what I have explained. If my nums of i is less than min k or or nums of i is greater than max k okay if this is the case then i have to update my don index okay i am going to update my don index is equal to with i okay i have updated my don index now after that i am going to check if my number uh, is equal to my min k okay if my current number nums of i 
is equal to min k then in that case i have to update my min position right so my min p will become min p will become i okay and same way after that i have to check if my nums of i is equal to is equal to my uh, max of k okay then in that case max of k max of k then in that case i have to update my max index position okay max p is equal to i okay so this is done okay now after that i have to update the count so int count is equal to okay int count is equal to math dot min math dot min of my uh, min p and uh, my max p right and i have to subtract it with my don index don idx okay so this is done then after that i have to update my result so result is equal to result plus if my count if my count is greater than 0 then in that case i have to use count otherwise okay if my count is greater than 0 in that case i have to use my count otherwise i have to use 0 if it is negative or something okay so this is done All right now in the end i have to just return the result okay and let's submit the code okay So this is your hard level problem, right? So now let's submit the code. So our solution is accepted and we have also earned one badge, I think DCC March 2024. Okay, so we have uh, completed daily coding challenge of uh, in March for 31 days, right? So consistency is the key and we will see you next month, right? So I hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem. And if you guys still have any doubts, then please feel free to ask in comment section. Till then, keep coding and keep practicing. Meet you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.